Now that we've familiarized ourselves with the programming environment of the XS26-2 safety controller, let's take a closer look at some input and output selection options and related parameter settings by starting a new project. For this project, we will select the default controller that has display, ethernet, and is expandable. Always review the manual for full details on setup and configuration to adhere to safety standards for your application. From the equipment view, we can set parameters for safety outputs, such as activating external device monitoring for relays, We can also split safety outputs to improve output capacity. And we can begin to add our safety devices to our application. We'll begin with an e-stop button and select optional contact configurations. Next we'll add a gate switch. We'll also add a light curtain with solid state safety outputs. And with this application we'll be requiring a reset button. And we'll add a status output to track any input fault of any of the devices. In our next tutorial, we will move on to the Functional View tab where we can begin to add logic and function blocks to complete this basic application.